Hi, my name's Amelia Scarlett, and today I'm going to show you how I add lots of detail and realism to my Blender models relatively easily using AI. Today I'm going to be using Dolly 3, but you can also use Bing Copilot and get basically the exact same results. I'll show a comparison in just a second. I'm going to start by typing out my prompt. I'm going to ask for a photorealistic front-facing facade of a small, gritty New York City convenience store. And then I'm going to add front-facing on a white background. Press generate and let it do its thing. I didn't like this first set of results, so I'm going to press regenerate. And here we have two options that are much more front-facing. So I'm going to choose the one I like and download it. For comparison, here's the results that you can get with Copilot. Now with Blender open, I'm going to import my image as a plane. Navigate to your image and select it. In edit mode, use edge selection to crop the white out of your image. Press E and extrude your plane into a cube. Press Ctrl R to generate loop cuts. Make cuts around all of the major features like trims, windows, and awnings. I like to open up my image in the UV editor for reference. Now click Alt E for extrude options. Open up the editing panel and choose offset even. Now repeat this for all of your other features. Start with larger features like the doors, windows, and awnings before moving on to the smaller things like trim. Now extrude some of your smaller details like the stairs, the sign, and even the little trim pieces up at the top. Once you have the geometry that you want, you can go back in and fix the stretched textures. Select any stretched faces and choose U to UV project. Now in the UV editor, realign your textures. The spots that I need to fix are the door and the stairs. Once your textures are done, select all of the faces that are not your front face and delete them. Now you're gonna add the mirror modifier and choose an axis to reflect over. Duplicate the object and rotate it 90 degrees. Now play with the spacing until all of the walls are almost touching. Select your objects and apply the mirror modifier. Now we're going to join the objects into one. Use Alt to select two facing seams and then choose bridge edge loops. Repeat this for all four edge seams. Select the top edge and under face, choose grid fill. Repeat the same for the bottom. Now you can check your model in the shaded view and it's all ready to go. And once you know how to do it, you can create as many as you want and make a whole city this way.